Today's video was made possible by Atlas VPN. Get powerful protection for your internet surfing by using the link in the description and in the pinned comment to get a three year plan of Atlas VPN premium for just $1.83 a month, plus an extra three months free with a 30 day money back guarantee. Today we're gonna to look at a really interesting integration trick which takes an integral which looks really impossible and finds the value of it fairly quickly. And this example is from the book Inside Interesting Integrals by Paul Nahim. So I urge you to check this book out if you're interested in this kind of stuff, it's really great. So today we'd like to evaluate the integral from negative one to one of cosine of x over e to the one over x plus one dx. So like I said, that function looks really gnarly. And how could we take its integral? Well, we're gonna use some facts about even and odd functions, as well as really something that points towards this integral being happily constructed because we get a major simplification. So let's recall if a function f is even, the, then the integral from minus a to a of f of x dx is equal to twice the integral from zero to a of f of x dx. So that's something you would generally learn in an integral calculus class. And then there's a corresponding result that you would learn at the same time, which says that if f is odd, then the integral from minus a to a of f of x dx is zero. Well, we can quickly check that this function here, cosine of x over e to the one over x plus one is neither even nor odd. But that being said, there's this nice trick that allows us to decompose any function at all into a sum of even and odd functions. I guess I should be careful with saying any function at all because of course, if the domain is not really built in order to look at negative values inputted into the function, then it won't work. But as long as the function is nice enough in that sense, you can do this. Now I'd like to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, Atlas VPN. First off, they are the most affordable choice. A three year plan is only $1.83 a month and you get three months for free. I think that's a crazy good deal. You can set your IP address to be any country. So when I'm traveling, maybe I'll set it back to the US to watch my favorite shows that I've been watching at home. Or maybe when I'm at home, I'll set it to somewhere in Europe or Australia and unlock some content that is not available in the United States. So next up, Atlas VPN allows you to protect unlimited devices because I not only have a laptop, but you know I also want it on my phone and on my tablet. And the ability to protect all of my devices with one account is just super convenient. So my next reason is one that not everyone talks about all the time, the ability to save money while shopping shopping online. So sometimes when I'm searching for plane tickets, I've noticed that if you change your IP address to a different country, you could end up with cheaper flights. Next up, you can stop malware and be protected from the sneaky little trackers that are inside internet ads. Finally, one of the most important points is to keep your internet traffic private. You might think that when you open that incognito tab that no one can tell what's going on, but your ISP is still tracking you and maybe the best and easiest way to keep that from happening is with a VPN and you know like we've been talking about this whole time I think Atlas VPN for all of these reasons and more is really your best choice on the market right now their apps work on all major platforms and operating systems and offer hassle-free lightning fast premium VPN protection get this incredible limited time deal now because you can get Atlas VPN premium for only a dollar 83 a month plus three months extra. And just in case you also get a 30 day money back guarantee. Protect your privacy and get many benefits of Atlas VPN at this ridiculously low price. You can take this deal by clicking on the link in the description or in the pinned comment below. And once again, I'd like to thank Atlas VPN for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so let's see how this might work. So let's take F to be, I'll put in quotes, any function and really it's just any function where it's nice enough to do this action. And now let's notice that we can write f of x 
as f0 of x plus f1 of x, where f0 of x is equal to 1 half times f of x plus f of minus x. And then f1x is equal to 1 half times f of x minus f minus x. And let's notice that just simply by construction here, this f0 of x is even, whereas this f1 of x is odd. So what we did is took an arbitrary function f of x and we decomposed it into an even part and an odd part. Okay, so let's see how we could do that for our function here. In order to maybe make it work a little bit easier, not work a little bit easier, but just to ease the notation, let's maybe set this equal to the function g of x. And let's notice that's going to turn this into the integral from minus 1 to 1 of g0 of x plus g1 of x, given that any function can decompose like that. Okay, but now let's note that that will become the integral from ne negative 1 to 1 of g0 of x dx plus the integral from negative to 1 to 1 of g1 of x dx. But g1 of x is an odd function by construction. But then by this fact, if we integrate over a symmetric domain, that will just tend towards 0. So we have that part just cancels itself out. And then we can apply our first rule over here to simplify this first one. So that's going to give us 2 times the integral from 0 to 1 of g0 of x dx. And now we'll apply this rule for constructing g0. Notice the rule has a half built in. That will cancel this 2. And that will leave us with the integral from 0 to 1 of, let's see, g evaluated at x, which is simply the cosine of x over e to the 1 over x plus 1 plus g evaluated at negative x. That gives us cosine of negative x, but the cosine function is even itself, so that's just cosine of x again. And then this is going to be over e to the minus 1 over x plus 1, like that. Great. So now what I'll do is I'll factor a cosine out of that numerator, and then we'll get to combining some things. So we have the integral from 0 to 1 of the cosine of x, and then we have 1 over e to the 1 over x plus 1, plus 1 over e to the minus 1 over x plus 1 dx. And now let's give ourselves a common denominator. That means we're going to build this first term up by multiplying by e to the minus 1 over x plus 1 over itself. I'll just put a little squiggle there to mean itself. And then we'll take this second term and we'll build its denominator by multiplying by e to the 1 over x plus 1 over itself. Again, I'll put a little squiggle there. Okay. So let's see what that will leave us with. We have the integral from 0 to 1 of the cosine of x times. So left in the numerator will be the sum of those two things. So that will in the end give us e to the 1 over x plus 2 plus e to the minus 1 over x. And then in the denominator, we'll have the product of those two denominators. And so that's going to give us e to the 1 over x uh, plus 1, and then e to the minus 1 over x plus 1. Great. And here's where the magic part happens, and that is that this numerator and denominator are actually exactly the same. And you can see that by foiling out the denominator and just watching everything fall into place. So I'll maybe let you check that detail carefully for yourself. But since those are the same, then that means they'll cancel each other down to the number 1. And so that simply in the end gives us the integral from 0 to 1 of cosine of x dx, which using the fundamental theorem of calculus will give us the sine of 1. That's because the antiderivative of cosine is sine. Sine of 1 is, well, 
best written as sine of one and sine of zero is zero. So let's see, following from the extreme left to right hand side here, we see that we have indeed found the value of our goal integral. And that's a good place to stop. Thanks for watching and sticking around until the end of the video. And since you're here, don't forget to gently press that like button, subscribe, ring the bell, and select all notifications to never miss a video. If you want to get your name in the credits like you see here, access the live seminar series, review videos before release, and more, go to patreon.com slash michaelpinmath and become a Patreon member today. If you want full ad-free course content, subscribe to my second channel, Math Major. I've got courses on linear algebra, complex analysis, and proof writing, among several others. And that's everything. Bye.